everybody, it's Chris and Jim from Midlife Travel Bug. Thanks for tuning into our channel here. We are just going to review and wrap up our time in Sicily. So we spent about two and a half weeks in Sicily, a total of 18 nights, and we get a lot of questions just asking about where would you go or how long would you go for if you went back. So this video is all about our itinerary that we took while we were in Sicily what we would do differently if we went back. And we're even gonna break down a one week itinerary for those of you that are just going there for a shorter time than we did. And if you stick around to the end, we're also gonna show you our cost breakdown of our entire mm -hmm. 18 nights that we stayed in Sicily. Yeah, we'll break it down to accommodation, transportation and food and have everything wrapped into those totals. So stay till the end. So to start off our journey to Sicily, we flew into Catania. There's two major airports, Palermo and Catania, but we flew into Catania. Now Catania is on the east coast of Sicily. We were gonna fly into Catania and fly out of Palermo. So we planned our route accordingly. Kind of tried to do a bit of a circle. Like we were trying to do yeah. the island and sort of loop around and not have to backtrack. So that was a good option for us. And you can always go back to the same city, but sometimes it's nice to just see new places. So Catania was great. It was our first time for the both of us to come into Sicily. We've never been before. We stayed in the old city. Now most of the places we tend to stay in the old cities, just as easy to walk around. And man, we were actually very surprised about Catania. Yeah, Catania has not only amazing food everywhere, yes. but just the color of the buildings. It's a darker tone to each building, and that's because Mount Etna is so close, and a lot of the buildings are made out of the lava rock. So you definitely see that darker tone to the buildings. And being Italy and Sicily, the history and the cathedrals and the squares. Beautiful. Just, so yeah. beautiful place. We had a lot of fun there. So we walked around the town for about three days. We went to see some of the sites. There's a castle there. There's a monastery, a great fish market, and lots of markets yes. that you can go check out. So definitely worth going and seeing Catania if you've never been. Now, but I think a few people that we spoke to said, just get into Catania and just get out of Catania. Now, being our first time there, we decided to spend three nights and we are glad that we did because there's a lot more to Catania than you think. So keep that in mind if you book your trip. So after a lovely three days and three nights in Catania, we went back to the airport and picked up a car rental. Now we decided to do the car rental while we were there and utilize that transportation instead of the trains and the buses that were available. We found the freedom of a car really, really nice, especially in Sicily. Yeah, definitely with the car, we weren't really tied down to being in a certain place for a bus at, at the time. So it, it was really beneficial to us, especially we wanted to see the whole part of Sicily and we knew we were driving pretty much around the whole island. Yes. So renting that car was the best option for us. Now you don't need a car while you're in Catania. You just need it if you're leaving Catania and you want to get around if you don't want to take the public transportation. Yeah, and the reason we pick up at the airport often when we get a car rental is in the big cities we choose to walk and once we leave we tend to pick up a car and go to the smaller cities. A little bit easier to drive around. Yeah, so we took an hour drive up to Termina which beautiful. Wow. wow. We were absolutely blown away by Termina, how pretty the city was. Now we did make a mistake of not spending a night there, which we yeah. wish that we had in reviewing our trip in Sicily, we wish that we had stayed there for a few nights. Now we just went for a few hours and we didn't have enough time, but we would certainly go back. We yeah. highly recommend it. So what you're going to see in Termina is an amazing view of Mount Etna. Yes. A, Gorgeous sea views because Termina is a mountain town, so like the views are incredible. But you can also go right down to the sea, and there's a pretty amazing beach down there as well. I think the island's called Isla La Bella, if correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a place that you can go visit during the day, and there's a beach right below. There's a gondola that will take you up and down from the city. Yeah, so you spend a few hours walking around Termina and you get to see this amazing theater. It's the second largest oh, theater yes. in Italy. 
And the views it, from that theater were oh, unreal. Incredible. So make and sure you do that when you're there. And I believe there's a castle at the top of the town as well. We didn't make yeah. it there, but I think when we go next time, we'll definitely put it on our list. And also the gardens. The gardens were beautiful, oh, beautiful. as well. Beautiful. The whole city itself yeah. actually was just stunning. It had flowers and little pots and... It was beautiful. It, it is very touristy, lots yes. of tourists around, but well worth still going. And we wish we would have stayed a little longer there. Definitely. So we cut our trip a little bit short there because we were headed down to Syracuse and or Ortesia where we were gonna spend the next three nights. We went from Catania up to Termina, walked around for Day a few hours. A bit. Yeah, yeah, and then drove back down south to Ortesia where we stayed for the next three nights. Highly recommend Ortesia. Yes. It is just a, an amazing place to walk around for sure. It's connected literally by a bridge to Syracuse, so you can walk into Syracuse. Now, people go to Syracuse for a number of reasons, but the largest theater in Italy was in Syracuse and the yeah. oldest. So the ancient ruins in Syracuse were mind blowing. The island itself is actually a walled city and there's a fort at the end of it. You can walk around the whole thing. The cars only go, I believe, around the outskirts of the island and the rest is just walking past the narrow streets. But what a beautiful city. We were lucky enough to be there and the squares were pretty empty. So that was yeah. also nice. We weren't dealing with too many crowds and we really enjoyed our time there. We had probably our favorite, maybe second favorite Airbnb that we were there with. And yeah. we definitely go back and spend some time. An absolutely great cafe culture type of place. So out of the two, if you're wanting to choose between Syracuse and Ortesia where to stay, we'd recommend staying in Ortesia. If you can stay in the old city part of it, Ortesia. They had probably our favorite market. We enjoyed the market in Ortesia and had a wonderful time there, so don't miss that as well. That was our stay in Ortesia. And then next up, we knew we were heading to the Valley of the Temples in Agrigento. We did a few little stops along the way. We planned for that. We stopped in the uh, beautiful little town of Noto. And oh. we also went to the beach and checked out another little area. I can't remember the name of it, but make sure you plan a few things on the way to Agrigento. It's a beautiful drive. Yeah, it wasn't a very long drive to Noto from Ortesia. So if you're just staying in Ortesia or Syracuse area, you can take a day trip to Noto. And Noto is famous for the Baroque architecture in Sicily. It's very famous where the town was leveled by an earthquake and, it, and when it was rebuilt, it was this very specific style of architecture that it was built in. And the town is absolutely beautiful. Yes, and there were a few other day trips we could have taken as well. I think Ragusa was close to there. There's a few other places that we knew we, we wanted to see, but we just didn't have enough time. So after a couple hours in Noto, we ended up jumping back in the car and heading to the Valley of the Temples. But when we got to Agrigento, it was getting pretty late. So we were there for dinner. We didn't get a lot of filming in Agrigento town, but the main purpose that we wanted to go see was the Valley of the Temples, and that's yeah. what we did the next morning. Now, one thing that surprised me was that the Valley of the Temples were amazing, but the other part of it, what I wasn't expecting, was the city itself of Agrigento. It was just beautiful, so definitely worth a stay there as well. Agrigento is also a mountain town, so epic views of yes. the sea. We only had two nights and it was enough to see the Valley of the Temples. Unfortunately, we just wished that we'd had a little bit more time in the actual city itself, but you could do it in two nights, but we probably next time would have said maybe do three. So from there, we decided to take a drive and we were now headed to, to Trapani. On the way to Trapani, we decided to stop at the Turkish Steps and walk around. It was about, what, 20 minutes from Agrigento, so an easy drive and beautiful. Now the Turkish steps are basically whitewashed cliffs from the wind and the sand and the sea over the years. It's just a pretty th cool thing to look at. And then after stopping there, we we're on our way to the west coast to go to Trapani. So in Trapani, we actually had five nights booked, but we ended up staying only four. And I probably would only recommend spending three nights if you were there. I think for us being at the end of November, a lot of things were closed. And the mm -hmm. ferries that go to some of the islands there weren't running as frequently. And it was pretty windy when we were there. So Trapani has the salt flats, it's wine country. So some 
fantastic wines. We did do a couple day trips, actually three day trips while we were we in Trapani as well. One of the day trips that we took were to the hilltop town of Ariche. Um, Definitely Ar worth a visit. It yeah. was only about a half an hour drive from Trapani straight uphill. But now they was, do have a gondola oh. or a funicular that they call it that goes up to the top of the mountain. But while we were there, it was shut down at the time. So Ariche has a castle that you could go see. It is the city of churches, apparently. So mm -hmm. there's like over 100 churches. Beautiful town. And this small little area. So very cool, um, cobblestone, narrow streets. It's like going back in time a little bit, for sure. Definitely going back in time. So we did a day trip to Ariche. We also did a day trip to Marcella, and Marcella is also in wine country, famous for its wines. Now we only spent a couple hours there. Again, we were there during siesta time between kind of noon and, and three o'clock or one and three o'clock, and it was- It was pretty quiet. It was a ghost town. Yeah, I think you have to keep that in mind when you're in Sicily, that the siesta time, like I said in previous videos, they do take it very seriously. Yeah. So plan to go in the morning or the afternoon, you probably have a little more action. Another day trip that we took while we were in Trapani was to San Vito Lo Capo. Now that was a really interesting seaside town. Beautiful cliffs. It was a little out of the way, but it was worth the drive. And I think if we came back, we, we'd probably opt to stay there on the beach. It was beautiful. So when we arrived into San Vito Lo Capo, we actually were there during a funeral and it was pretty surreal. So there was this massive cathedral, which is just so cool. It's a phenomenal beach town, but this funeral was going on where there's a band and literally the whole town was there. It was something just like it was in the Godfather movie. A very quiet town when we were there, but I could see how amazing it would be to go more when it's in the summer and the yeah. beach looked fantastic. The town looked really cool, so that would be an option to stay there as well. That was our time in Trapani, so basically we did some day trips, we walked around the town, we didn't get to go to the islands because the ferries were closed at that time. Trapani on the west coast, a much different feel than it was on the east coast for sure. And if you have the extended time, so if you're going longer than a couple weeks, then Trapani is probably a good place to put on your list as well. So after our four night stay in Trapani and our day trips, we decided to drive to Sheffaloo. So once we got to Sheffaloo, we enjoyed the three nights that we had there and the beach is beautiful. The old city is amazing and we just wish we'd had more time there. So Sheffaloo is on the north coast. It is just east of Palermo. It's about an hour away from Palermo. So we decided to go and spend some time at the beach. We had a great Airbnb while we were in Sheffaloo. Now Sheffaloo is a very, very pretty, walkable, amazing, historic beach town. Yeah, you get the kind of the best of both worlds. You get a beautiful beach and you get a beautiful old town and some views of the mountains and some pretty good hikes, I believe. Really laid back feel, really beachy vibe, friendly, so friendly the people. Yes. And it was just a great stay in another place that we thought that, man, three nights was just, just, not not, enough. just not long enough to stay in Shafalu. I think it's a place that we could go back to and hike, take a vacation and relax by the beach and yeah, kind but, of enjoy the city. Don't miss Shafalu if you're on the north coast of Sicily, especially so if you're in Palermo. There's a train that goes back and forth, but as we had a car, we, we drove. And it's a good day trip from Palermo if you chose to stay there. So after our three nights in Sheffaloo, we headed over to Palermo. But while we still had the car, we decided to go to Modelo Beach. And Modelo Beach is kind of the main big beach of a suburb of Palermo. So that is kind of the most popular beach. And it was just it was a really beautiful. cool... Absolutely yeah, beautiful. Cool beach town. Spent some time eating lunch there and hanging out. And I can definitely see why people would go there. It's just a massive long beach and it looked pretty cool. So we ended up dropping off our vehicle at the car rental place and then ended up taking a shuttle into Palermo. So once we got into Palermo after dropping off the car, we stayed in another little beautiful spot, but right in the old historical district of Palermo. We recommend staying there. It's just easy to walk and get everywhere on foot. We spent a total of three nights and they were sadly our last three nights. So we enjoyed Palermo 
all that it had to offer. And we were actually really pleasantly surprised with Palermo. We'd heard some negative reviews about it being a dirty city mm. or don't go there, but we, we ended up enjoying our time tremendously there. The people were really friendly in Palermo and we enjoyed walking around. The food was amazing. There was a tremendous amount of choices. The markets were beautiful and the marina was really cool too. So. There is so much to see and so much to do in Palermo. Yes. We felt safe everywhere we went and we are sure glad that we spent some time walking around Palermo and we'd definitely recommend if you've never been to go check out that city because it, yeah. it'll blow you away with the history. Keep in mind, I think if you're a first timer to Sicily, a lot of people say, get out of Catania, get out of Palermo, just move on. And there's beautiful places all over Sicily, but you'd be missing out on a lot of history and a lot of beautiful places if you skip those two cities. So keep that in mind. So that was our three weeks in Sicily. So ended up going from the East Coast to the West Coast, to the North Coast, and... Not uh, enough time. Not enough time. We definitely could have spent longer than the 18 days. So what was your top three places? Ooh, for me, my top three places would be Sheffaloo, Terramina, and Ortigia. Yes. You yes, on all three. You agree? <laughs> I think on all three. Now, so, also second favorites would also be Agrigento. We really enjoyed that area as well. Yeah. The now, capital. there's many other places that were recommended to us that we would still like to see, but we could only fit in so much. But in 18 days, we were relatively busy, but not so busy. So it was a good amount of time. I think those top three that we just said, Sheffaloo, Termina, and Ortigia, those are places that we could go and spend a month at either place, no problem. And those are just our favorites. So now we want to break down for you guys what we would do if we only had one week to go to Sicily. If you flew into Palermo, I would pick what's around Palermo. And if you flew into Catania, I would stay in that area and pick what's around Catania. Yeah. It's a bigger island than you think. And there's a lot to see, but it would be a shame to drive around too much and miss all of the beautiful spots. Catania being on the East Coast, I would definitely hit Termina, Catania and Ortigia, and then maybe some day trips around right. there. And then for Palermo on the North Coast, if you're flying into Palermo, definitely see Palermo. I would spend some time in Sheffaloo. I would take a trip over to San Vita, like, Capo. There's also, you know, Modelo Beach area. So that would kind of give you enough time to do a week's vacation. If you had a little longer, then I would venture maybe to the other coast. So now let's talk about costs. Yes, the fun stuff, right? So, so how much did it cost us for 18 days in Sicily? Well, we're not including our flights because we were already in Europe. So that's separate, keep that in mind. So we're gonna break it down to the total cost of accommodations our total cost of our food, which includes groceries, dining out, some beers and some wines and those fun things, groceries. Cat little cafes and Definitely. all this stuff. And also transportation. So the transportation will include our car rental. We did a couple taxis and Ubers and some shuttles as well. So accommodations, let's start there. We did some Airbnbs and booking.coms. It was mainly apartments that we stayed in. It was kind of nice because you get the kitchen aspect of things, which is a huge help for us. So we averaged about $70 Canadian per night while we were there. Again, it was off season. It's gonna change depending on the season, obviously. The but... season and your level of comfort. We're, we're also trying to budget travel a little bit, but we had great places at that price point. Like we were really impressed. We did. So our total price for the accommodations for the 18 nights was $1,272 Canadian. So the next category we're gonna cover is our transportation. Now this is a mix of our car rental, our parking and some taxi and a little bit of a shuttle. So our total cost for our transportation is 350 Canadian dollars. That included our car rental for 12 days, some taxis, some Ubers, and some shuttles as well, and I believe a little bit of parking costs. So not too bad. So next is the big thing, which is our favorite thing, and that is food. So the food includes cafes, restaurants, wineries, groceries. Bakeries, all the fun things. <laughs> all the food. So we indulged a little bit. And for the total, we ended up spending $733 Canadian on food for the 18 days. So not bad considering we ate out at a, quite a few beautiful restaurants as well. So we, we certainly didn't go without, we didn't scrimp too much because it's Italy. And man, the food in Sicily was 
fantastic. The best. That was, was so good. It was everything we tried was just phenomenal. I even tried a spleen sandwich in our Palermo video. So if you haven't seen that, that, go check one. that out. I opted out that time. <laughs> so the grand total for our 18 nights that we stayed in Sicily with the transportation, accommodation, and food was $2,355 Canadian. Now, that's a little pretty, more than usual for us. Yeah, but that's at the top end of our budget. Bad for Sicily, though. That was our total cost. Now, we felt like that was pretty reasonable for Italy, especially. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you have subscribed already, thank you very much for following us and watching us. It really helps us to be able to bring you these videos on different places. And if you haven't subscribed, it's free. So don't hesitate and subscribe if you like this video. So we have a couple new countries coming out in 2024. We can't wait to show you guys. We really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching these videos. And we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. So we ended up dropping off our vehicle at the car rental place and then ended up taking a shuttle into Palermo. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright